G'day, Alcard J here. In this video, we'll look at another way of manipulating our noise through a filter. This one's an exponential filter. Now what this does is it dramatically reduces our noise value the closer it gets to zero. Now the best way to demonstrate this is through example. Now, I really hope this website comes up again soon because it has some great examples. But for now, we're just going to follow along on this one. And if I just implement what's happening here, hopefully by demonstration you'll see how this works. Now one consideration is this map value is between 0 and 255. It's like a color 32 value. So we'll modify our noise variable that we're passing in. We'll use this and then we'll normalize it again before we return it. So let's just add it and then see what it does. Okay, so let's add some variables. And this will be specifically for our exponential filter. And I'll make these sliders as well. So our cover, which is kind of like our density, and our sharpness, which is quite sensitive. So I'm going to add another variable in as well to modify the power. So the power factor. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this so I can follow along. So first we'll turn our value into a number between 0 and 255. So float B equals val. And the same thing with our color, because I made it normalized at the top. So, see, cover. Now he's used C, but that is the power. So, we're going to use float power equals our value minus. And then we'll check if P is less than zero, P equals zero. And then we'll do the math. So float noise equals two fifty five minus math F power sharpness to the power P. And we'll include my power factor times two divided. And then we need to normalize that value again. Equal. And then we'll return it. Okay, it all looks about right. I'll make a new scene. So this one will now display our exponential. And we've both got frequency of 4. Now this one changed to exponential, so we can use these values here. Save the scene, and let's see what we've got. 
Okay, so as you see, it's kind of made the image more cloudy. So if we look at the cover, we'll see the cover is manipulating the amount that's there. Okay, let's, whoops, that back down a bit. Now let's have a look at the sharpness. Now, you intuitively think if it made it less sharp, it'd be more fluffy, but it doesn't. It kind of washes it out. And you see, this number is also very sensitive. It's the higher, closer it gets to one, the more fluffy things become. And it starts to really go strange there, and at one, completely freaks out. Now, what does my power factor do? It's kind of like a brightness, but it also is more intuitive with that fluffiness that I was looking for in sharpness. Okay? So we can even modify that slider for sharpness so I'm not playing with ridiculous values. So let's just say 0.8F, 0.99. No, it was more like 0.98, it started to get strange. Bring that down. It's not really doing much. Take it all the way up. Okay, let's make it 0.99. Okay, so we're starting to get it's very, very sensitive. That's why I included that other one there. Okay, so what could you use this for? Well, you could use it to make the noise more like clouds. Or you could actually use this output as a filter, um, as a mask, I should say. So imagine if we had an output like this, and then we use this as a mask so that we would drain out a lot of these areas. It doesn't make sense because we're using the same frequency values here. So if we change this to 1, let's say we had a map like that, and if we use another filter called a blend multiply, then this area would kind of turn into a lake. We cut out this area here too, and it would keep this hill here, but really lower this kind of area here. Not a great example, but in another video I'll actually introduce Blend Multiply and generating these kind of noises and using one as a mask over the other one. Because so far we've been generating textures, but it would be great if we could take these noise values and apply them to the terrain's height map. And then we're starting to procedurally gener generate terrain.